Hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about the Pentart Cracking Paint System. This particular system is a two-step system. Uh, so similar to what we've talked about in the past with the classic crackle varnish, you would go in with the first component and once that's dry, then you go in with the second component. However, unlike the classic varnish where this one is transparent, this particular paint system comes in colors. Um, we have eight different colors in this system. Um, I actually have country blue, Victorian pink, and brown here. I will go through a demonstration with you. I'm going to just use uh, wooden drawers here and do some decoupage paper on it. But I'll show you that um, this particular system, what we would do is go in with uh, the first component. Now, prior to the first component, if you wanted to uh, have a base color, which is what I will actually do, I'm going to put a base color down the Pentart de Decor paint, um, chalky, and this was in the vintage beige. You will see a little bit of that color through the crack here so you know you may want to coordinate the bottom color um, also this particular uh, system is good on furniture because it can withhold if you needed to do any sanding or anything to do any aging or what have you um, on your piece so as I said, I will we'll do a little demonstration here. I'll go through, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and put down a base color, um, the vintage beige chalk paint. I'll go through, and then once I get that down, I'll come back and show you the, talk you through the first um, step, and then get that dried up, and then show you the second step. So let's get this one down first. gotten the base coat down of the decor chalky paint. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the cracking paint system the number one. We'll go ahead and apply this on. Okay, so look, I say this every time, okay, how much of the component one you put down will be what your cracks are, okay? So, if you are going in with a 
thin amount of product, you are going to have lighter cracks. Okay? If you have more product in an area, you will have bigger cracks. So whatever you're looking for, um, just make sure you get it down. Once you do, you know, get down that first layer though, okay, like for instance, I'm starting here on the side, okay. I don't want to go back here now and start going back over this, okay. It's starting to dry. It's got a little tack to it. If you start disrupting the first uh, step, it, the, your cracks aren't going to crack properly. Okay, so get your layer down, um, and once you know you finished in that area, if you will, don't don't go back over it. I've also uh, said that you know it is always better if you can let the product dry naturally but the pen tart cracking systems do work well if you use um, a heat gun. So if you want to accelerate the drying by using a heat gun, that it's fine too. I know that there are some cracking systems that do not like the heat gun at all, but the Pintart cracking systems are not that way. Yes, letting it go naturally, dry naturally, is always best and preferable, but, you know, if you wanted to, accelerate it with the heat gun that's perfectly fine too which for the purposes of the videos I always do so I will go ahead and dry these again when you are using your heat gun on any of the cracking systems you want to keep the heat moving you don't want it concentrated in one area okay Once this has gone translucent, you know that it's dry, and then it's ready for you to proceed with the second step. Okay. Okay, as I'm sitting here waiting for these to dry, I looked at the paper that I'm going to use, and I also seen that I have just these little wooden flowers that I thought would be really cute to put on the drawers. So I am going to paint three of these and I'm gonna make, put the crackle on these as well. Okay, so everything is dry, so we are going to go ahead and go in with our second system. 
I'm going to make mention of this again. My heat tool does get very hot. So you do want to make sure that your project has cooled um, before you go in with the second uh, step. I do notice that it does affect the cracks um, when you go in with the second step and the project is still warm or hot if you got if you go right in after the heat tool okay do what I wanted to do at the beginning <laughs> all right so we are going to load up our brush um, and you know, you'll notice that I say the same things in, in the videos uh, because you want to, they basically work all the same. We want to do an even stroke, one even pass, and then, you know, the next row, the next row. You don't want to go over the same spot because it will affect the cracks. Okay, you will cover up what's, what's happening. So, I'm going to start here and I'm going to go down. One little area that I missed. it dry it's best but you can accelerate it but look at this has just been sitting over there just for a few minutes and look at that the cracks are already appearing it's just so satisfying to see when the cracks happen <laughs> never gets old And as I dry it, you can actually see the cracks appearing right as I'm drying it. Do you see it? Look at that. Isn't that neat?
haven't tried one of the cracking systems, you, you should. They're really, really easy to use. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Um, we'll get back to you just as soon as we can. If you need to find a retailer near you, I will put in the website here at the end of the video. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.